test, test, test. So today, hello, we are comparing 3ds Max texturing very briefly with Blender. Not going to go into too much detail here, just a quick primer. So very quickly, you should know if you do 3D, but if you don't, texturing, either we use an image like so, this image here, okay, I've made a five, or we use procedural textures, you know, within the program like noise, wave, etc, etc. So today we're going to use the procedural texture in Max. So very quickly to access textures and unwrapping your textures on models, you go to select the wine bottle shape, go to unwrap UVW, and we can open the UV editor here. And basically, there you go, and we can get the texture so we know that we're editing the number five. Yeah. Apply it to there. And as you can see, when we select this polygon, select this area here, it's, you know, it goes on that area there, so it's the same area. Yeah. We can do various things in Max. We've got loads of different features like quick peel, peel mode, reset peel, pelt, which is a really cool feature. We can do a quick peel and then we can move things around. We can also add seams like so. Seams are a bit like sewing so it gives you different areas that you can separate the JPEG and edit to your heart's content. So that so that's just a very quick pri primer as said. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Now I'm going to show you how to access the same thing in Blender. So I've got Blender set up. I've got the node editor here. I've got the UV, the image editor here, and then I've got the 3D, a similar 3D wine bottle here. Yeah. So I'm going to select this wine bottle, and as you can see, it's unwrapped already. Yeah. So what, how I did that? I just pressed U, and Smart UV Project, which is a pretty cool thing because it projects it in a kind of logical manner, automatically. Yeah. If I do unwrap, yeah, it's not not quite as good. Um, but I do. Yeah, I'd do that before that, so but it's just retaining this one, the the smart smart one, smart UV project. Yeah. So basically, and then we can go to the number five again. So that's that. We need to apply the material. So we've got the material here. We add the texture here. Make sure that's all added. Take that to color. Open one JPEG. Open image. So now. The texture, as you can see, is applied to the um, bottle, and again, we can move the elements around using different features like this really useful island editor here. So when we move this, that moves there. Okay, and you know, there's loads of features in Blender you can explore and different ways to unwrap. Smart UV project is a really cool way to project. So that's basically it. So there we go. There's the 3D Studio Max way to. Get your textures onto objects, edit it, you can explore these features here, and then with Blender you can do the same and press U, look at this, edit the you know, edit it here, explore all these cool features here. Just to, just expand, be expansive. But as I said, that's the quick comparison. Sorry, I cannot say it today. The quick comparison. Okay. Well, if you've got any comments, etc., just let us know and check out my website www.jamesaverlart.com for more um, tutorials and my own artwork and also my YouTube channel with loads of free tutorials and stuff like that. Okay, speak later. Bye.